Even educational robotics can be very expensive, two to three hundred dollars. Robotics competitions can be in the thousands for kids to participate. So if you're from an under-resourced area, it's very difficult to get involved. And even if we get past the cost, sometimes there's a knowledge barrier. You just may not have teachers or adults in your area who know enough about electronics, mechanics, and software to be able to help you with robotics projects. I have created an open source robot that is mostly 3D printed, which means it's low cost. And because it's open source, that means it takes care of the access problem where anyone who can get to the internet and can get to YouTube can look at how to make their own robot, print it and program it. So I came up with this idea because it was a way to get teachers and communities like Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts and things like that into robotics without them having to break the bank. What they're gonna to learn today is how the 3D printed robot was made, as well as how to convert it as your skill level improves. So we're gonna start with graphical programming like Makey or Blockly by using Make Micro Bits, and then we're gonna move on to Arduino Uno, which is text-based. So as we're changing the controller on the robot, it's going from K through 12 elementary to college level, university level, and maybe even graduate school. So that one robot is growing with you as your skills improve. No matter what your area is, because robotics is multidisciplinary, you will now be able to use that whether you are in computer science, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, social psychology, human-robot interaction. You can use it to touch on your field in order to teach people more about artificial intelligence and about what you want them to know just by using that same robot.